Being a priest can be hard, and it's hard because you're always expected to be gentle and kind as much as possible when you're interacting with people. At the same time, you have to be kind of hard-lined about certain topics that are principles of your faith. There are about five to seven principles of my faith as kind of the founder of the Illinois Pagan Federation. But my federation is based solely on the International Pagan Federation and their principles. So if you're wanting to find something regarding how I believe online, please go to that International Pagan Federation, I believe it's a .org, and you will find the information you need to understand about what it means to be a pagan, someone who loves the Lord, cares for the environment, and is interested in the diversity of people, and generally not racist. I do make a lot of comments about what I see in terms of colorism and ethnocentricity. That is a part of my background in my layman's study of psychology, sociology, and other types of communication styles, personality styles, etc. We have a lot of people that you can learn from online, especially through TED Talks, but you have to figure out how to apply what you're learning, and that can be hard for people. As a priest, it can only be hard when people are unkind. People become unkind when they try to make a power statement over you. I might be standing in line paying for my food and someone from another line entirely will make a scene. They'll walk over and say, hey, you can put that back, what you're about to buy, because I bought one for you. And you're sitting there looking at this person going, I'm sorry, why would you feel that you have the right to have power over me in that way? That you have the right to direct me to put back something I have chosen in a store and am prepared to pay for? It's a little bit of kindness, but it's also steeped in rudeness. The rudeness is I'm already in line, prepared to pay. I'm practically on top of the cashier, and you're trying to make a scene for me? I don't think that's wise. We have rights in America to choose what we want. It's called consumer rights. And we do that, we do that with our own thought processes and our own needs. Please don't do that.